Hey guys, this is Darko. Welcome to my new calibration video in which I will show you tips on how to properly adjust your Samsung 2020 TV with controls that are available in user menus. I will be demoing this on 50 inch TU7000 series, but as Samsung is using same controls for other models in their UHD line, uh, these tips are fully applicable to other models like for example TU8000 series. So let's start, I'll press home button on the remote and go left to settings, then go up and right. And here you have basic picture controls and this is very handy if you want quickly to adjust something. Uh, right now we're in movie mode and movie mode is actually the best and I highly recommend that you use it for SDR and for HDR, whether you're watching live TV, TV shows, movies, it is the best. It gives you the most accurate picture. You also have dynamic, standard, which is active by default, and natural. But my recommendation, stay with movie mode. In case you're playing games, then you have on the right game mode, which you can enable, or you can set it to auto, so TV will automatically jump to game mode whenever it detects gaming content. Alright, coming back to picture mode, if you press up and OK, you will enter basic picture setup. And here you can adjust brightness, contrast, sharpness, color and tint. So these are basic controls, but if you want to access more picture controls, then I recommend you go back to home menu and go to settings. Now don't go up, but just press OK here and you will access this menu. If we go inside it, you will see picture mode movie. So that's the one we selected in home menu. Picture size settings. So I recommend 16 by 9 standard and fit to screen turned on. Going to expert settings, the first control we see here is brightness. And brightness this year on Samsung TVs is used to adjust luminance, so how bright the screen is. It is not for adjusting of black level, like it was year before. So you are free to modify this setting depending on how much light you have in the room. If it's too dim, then increase this value. If it's too bright, then decrease it. Okay? Next we have contrast. Now contrast is controlled to adjust how much details you will see in highlights. And by default it is set to high. And I had to reduce it to 35. If you want to precisely adjust it on your TV, then I recommend specific patterns to, to adjust uh, white level. You can download them for free. And I will put some links in the description of this video. Sharpness. For high quality content, if you don't want TV to create some halos around objects, then keep it at zero, otherwise increase it as needed. Color, I left it at 25 because by default color saturation was just right according to BT709 standard. Tint also I kept at default. Apply picture settings, so you can copy all settings to uh, other sources. Very handy control. Next we have picture clarity settings and I turned it off because I will show you which options it has. So you can either set it to auto or you can modify it with custom setting. Here you have judder reduction so you can get this soap opera effect for movies if you want it. LED clear motion which will insert black frames and make image look darker. I tested motion resolution and I did not see any benefit of using this control. So I turn it off. And we have noise reduction. It's well known that Samsung has very effective noise reduction algorithm. So if you have noisy content and you, you are distracted by it, you can set it to auto and continue watching. But overall, as there is no blur reduction, then I prefer to keep this control altogether turned off. Next, we have contrast enhancer, which is dynamic contrast. I don't recommend to use it, so I keep it turned off. 
Next we have fill mode which is used for interlace signals. It's very effective, works good, but in this case for progressive signals it is disabled. Color tone warm too. I recommend you keep it at this value as it will give you correct color temperature of the image. White balance, you have 2 point and 10 point settings. In my case uh, there was excess blue so I had to reduce blue components in 2 point and this was already good enough for really highly accurate grayscale on this TV. Gamma BT.1886 and this value set at 0. Actually this TV targets Gamma 2.2 um, by looking at uh, results in Kalman software and this is perfectly fine so no need to adjust this but in your case if you want to make image brighter or dimmer you can play with this control it's really up to you uh, how you want to adjust it for your environment next we have shadow control and coming back to, to the start of this video when I said that brightness control now affects luminance and to adjust black level you need to use shadow detail control. So basically they just change the name and position in the menu. So once again shadow detail is used to adjust black level. But as you can see by default it was right on spot for my environment again. So I kept it at zero. RGB only mode to be used for evaluation of saturation and tint otherwise keep it off color space settings by default very accurate tracking of bt709 so i kept it at auto i recommend you do the same for sdr and for hdr and finally we have reset picture that will reset all settings to default i will only go back to general and show you that in echo solution you also have ambient light detection so on this tv there is ambient light sensor, so if you want TV to adjust luminance of the screen, you can enable it and then define what would be the minimum brightness level. Like previous Samsung TVs, this one also suffers from global dimming effect, which will dim the picture if the scene is very dark. Unfortunately, there are no available controls in user menus to disable this. Uh, you can try with PC mode if it will work, but otherwise there, there is no other uh, workaround using available controls. As I mentioned before, I recommend movie mode also for HDR content and game mode for HDR gaming. Uh, game mode will not be as accurately adjusted like movie mode by default, but I recommend that you copy settings from movie mode to game mode and that way you will get both low input lag and high quality picture. Guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have questions or doubts, leave the comment below. And I'll see you soon in my next video about this TV. So more tips and advices coming on the channel as well as full review. Take care and have a nice day.